Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Tristan. Thank you for clicking on the video. We have a fall haul from ASRV, which you can expect out of this video. Uh, it's going to be a quick try on of the things, unboxing the package. It's not going to go too much into depth. I'm going to save that for a later video. So without further ado, enjoy this haul. Before I get into this, I want to say that these are all self-funded. Note to you guys, so these are not biased in any other way. If you want to support this channel, just give a like, a subscribe and um, let me know what you guys want to see i do for the for the 500th time in a row have a review of that water waterproof conditioning chest harness i have a review of that coming soon it's in the works i've just been slammed with work um and like i said in the last video hauls are the easiest thing to record so let's get into this i'm super excited to open this up it actually arrived here on friday of last week today's monday like i said earlier i've just been slammed with work i forgot what i ordered this will be fun for all of us. Got the black envelope with our packing slip and stuff. One of these days, I swear, they're gonna have stickers in here. Just wait, just you wait. First item, we have a men's oversized mock neck tee in black. Everything I ordered today, by the way, is in a size small, some quick stats. I am 5'9", 165 pounds. So that's the mock neck in black. Item two, we have a jet black silver plus fitted performance hoodie. Again, in black. I'm just gonna say this, everything in this bag is pretty much black. Item three, we have a, oh, this one I'm really excited for actually. This is the black Tetra zip tee. This is probably the sketchiest piece that I was like iffy on as to whether I could rock it or not. This one is actually in a size medium, so correct, correcting myself here. And then lastly, we have some bottoms here. These are the black brush camo high ankle rib joggers in a size small. Another experimental piece, if you will, that I decided to pull the trigger on. It's something different and we'll see how we like them. So those are four pieces out of the package. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on real quick. All right guys, so I have the Tetra high rib joggers on right now. These are the black brush camo in a size small. You can see how they fit my waist on a good day. It's like a 30, but on a, on a foodie day, it's like a 31. So for reference, sitting, sitting right at the waistline here. Um, quick details, like I said, we're gonna gloss over the details real quick here in this video. Um, you can see the rubber dip drawstrings. These pants actually have a belt loop, um, belt loops running all around, which I did not know. So pretty, pretty interesting there. Left pocket unzipped, right pocket is a zipper pocket with that Korean embroidery along. That's a nice little detail here. Um, cargo pockets on either side and both of them are not zipped. So a little bit different than what you're used to for the cargo pants here. And then the main, the main part of these being that they are high rib. So the cuffs do run higher here, almost like socks, if you crew socks, if you will. So it's just that, what's the word? Edgy, unique look to these joggers. And I love them so far. Mobility, first impressions, really good. These are actually made out of their newest material, Tetra 4. Um, they have four different components that work together that aren't often found in um, athletic apparel. So. Tetra 4, they have a four-way stretch, they're sweat wicking, antibacterial, waterproof is the last one. Loving them so far, it's really hard not to think about getting them in that woodland camo. I think these are one of these pants where you either love them or you hate them just because there's so much experimental things going on with them from the, from the print to the high rib. If you're not into the high rib look, definitely don't get it. I don't think sizing it up would do anything for you. Uh, and that's the whole point in this. The way it's actually stacked here, it, I actually love that, the way that it falls into place at the knee line. All right, I'm gonna keep the pants on and we're gonna throw on one of the tops that I got. So here it is guys, the performance hooded long sleeve in jet black. Um, this one is slightly different than the white one that I have. Uh, it is fitted, so in the arms, it's not nearly as relaxed fit here. Um, top to bottom, you can see the hood here. The hood here fits ever so nicely. It's a lot 
more snug than any of their other hoodies. I have their Distress hoodie and the garment dyed ones. You can see that this one is fitted much like a windbreaker or a running jacket because it's meant for working out in. Moving down to the chest, we have a quarter zip here. Upper left chest ASRV with the trademark logo here. Reflective, I believe. And we got the silver plus showing on the bottom right, DSG number. And then on the upper back, you can actually see the wing emblem here. I thought that was a really nice touch. Little details like that make this brand stand out. Now, as for the material, it is pretty thin, but it does keep you warm. Uh, we'll see how it holds up in the winter right now. I know it's November, but here in Southern California, it's such an awkward time of year. Air temperature can be anywhere from like low 80s to mid 80s, but then we surf. We actually surf this morning, the water is getting colder. So there's that to factor in. As for layering, I think this could be worn on its own, or if you decide to wear a tank top, make sure it's one of the thinner tank top options as because this material is thin, if you were to wear something thicker like the Silver Plus Cinch Tees or the Garment Dye Tank Tops, it will be showing through this. So yeah, I think this is best to be worn on its own or if you have like a thin performance tank top. Real quick, there are thumb loops for your hands. So I guess it doubles as a hand warmer if needed. So that's a nice little extra touch as well. I could see that being useful in um, December when it's actually cold out. If you don't wanna wear gloves, keep your hands warm. And then down to the bottom here, you can actually see that it is split hem. So that split hem just allows us to show off that zipper tech. No, I'm just kidding. So that split hem actually allows us to be able to squat down, whether it's a deadlift or a burpee, uh, without having your top ride up on you like any other one would, right? So I could actually bend over, pick things up off the ground. That split hem will allow the garment to stay in place. So that's a really nice feature here. And um, across the bottom, it doesn't drape just straight across. I really like that. It's actually scalloped. So there's like a, a U shape down here. That's, that's the fitted long sleeve. I really like it. I love the way it fits and feels. Super dope piece here. And we'll go ahead and change it to the next one. It's freaking hot in this thing. Oh, this feels nice. <laughs> All right, guys. So here it is, the mock neck team black, size small. Uh, I obviously don't have a mirror, but this feels great. First impressions here, I really love the way this sits. It's a mock neck, so not a full-on turtleneck, right? So it's not gonna be super high-rise here. It's actually ribbed all the way around here on the back. If you guys can see that, it does have the wing emblem. That's super dope. The material on this is more like a standard, um, feels like a cotton, but obviously with them, I'm pretty sure it's like silver plus or, or something like that. All their stuff is meant to work out in, but for me personally, this would be more like a going out t-shirt, especially with these pants. I feel like I'm ready to go walk around somewhere and do some fun shit. So the detailing on this is actually pretty insane here. It has this cool font. It says, only those who risk are free, running along the left side of this garment, right where the uh, design number is. On this side, there doesn't appear to be anything. Um, and it looks like that it just runs straight across. There's no split hem here. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any scalloping going on here. But I love the fit of this. This is meant to be an oversized fit as well. I went true to size. Uh, don't size up on this in my personal opinion. Otherwise it'll just look too baggy. So you can see the sleeves do run a lot lower. Uh, this piece isn't meant for you to look big in per se. It's definitely a casual piece. So if you want to show off your arms, this is not the shirt for you unless you're built like Popeye. You have big forearms. I'm he pretty is... sure Popeye has big forearms. Yeah. He doesn't have bicep. <laughs> but yeah, uh, super dope piece here. This is the third one. Let's go ahead and try that fourth one on now. All right, guys, the last and final item that I'm super excited for in this bag right here, we have the Tetra Zip Tee. So the same properties apply as the joggers that I'm wearing right now. Sweat wicking, waterproof, antibacterial, and four-way stretch here. This is in a size medium. Let's go ahead and throw this on real quick. I'm just gonna throw it on over the um, mock neck that I'm currently wearing, so it might look weird, we'll find out. Oh, oh guys, there's a lot of details on this piece that I'm already seeing. Oh man. Oh, I think I like this. I think I like it. Oh, this is edgy, guys. Super interesting piece here. I sized up in this one because I wanted to use this as a layering piece. Um, I'm wearing it underneath the mock neck, so it might look a little bit interesting. The model actually wears it with a hoodie underneath. 
but I would probably wear this with one of the with the one of the long tank tops or the hoodie underneath as well. This is also a quarter zip piece. Inside is ran with the Tetra, same exact material as their Tetra joggers that they came out with in the last collection with the iridescent stuff. Um, Four-way stretch, again, you can see here. I love this material, guys. If you were to ask me right now what my favorite uh, material is from them, it is the Tetra 4. It just feels so good. Keeps you warm without overheating, so when you start sweating, you don't feel all soggy because of that um, sweat wicking property. Moving on to the sleeves, it's actually ran with their ASRV, uh, I believe the Relentless Pursuit, uh, all around the sleeve, so this is really dope in itself. Running down to the front, we have two pockets here. They are separate. It's not one kangaroo pocket. These are two separate pockets along the sides here. Super dope. They are not zipper. And then along the side here, we have zippers to turn this into a split hem. So that tells me that this is meant to be a performance piece. So you can work out in this, wear it as a warm up layer, and then take it off later on into your workout. Or it's just a nice added fashion aspect back is bare but that is okay there's so many features on here that speak for themselves there is no cinch at the bottom here to be expected this is more of a street aesthetic a streetwear aesthetic so you want to use this as a layering piece for sure this piece was 138 dollars would i say it's worth it to me yes but if you're just starting your asrv collection i think you should invest in another piece like an actual hoodie first before you get this piece uh, standalone. I definitely don't think this would be something for you if you don't have many tops to work with yet. Um, but if you already have a lot of ASRV tops or just tops in general that you can think about pair, uh, pairing with this, then yes, I would get this. But if you plan on if you plan on wearing this as a standalone item, I, I wouldn't say it's worth $138. Uh, that's just my personal opinion though. If you think it's dope, please grab it. Don't let me stop you from doing what you want to do. That's everything in this haul. Uh, I do want to do a lookbook further into detail, just highlighting the things in depth with more outfit inspo. So different color combinations, different pairings with the bottoms, the tops, just having fun with it. So once again, these hauls are self-funded. If you want to support this channel, just give a like, leave a comment what you guys want to see. Let me know your experiences with ASRV, uh, building a community here. Let me know how you like the clothes, um, what you don't like about the clothes, what you, like, what you guys want to see on this channel and I'll be sure to respond and get to it. But yes, sir, this is this is everything. I actually think I'm gonna work out in this today and give it a, a quick battle test. But yeah, that's all for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.